Okay, so the ewes here need some help. You can see they're kind of brown and yellow and curling. Over here, the holly, something's going on. I noticed over here, I don't know if it's chlorotic, but it's very yellow on this side here. Um, and then as we move forward, you can see this one. It's got a lot of dye back. I don't see scale. Um, this viburnum too, like it's not sure what's going on. You can see here the berries are turning black already. Um, I do see a lot of lichen here, but I don't know what's causing all this. This holly is pretty bad. I'll take you back up here. Everything along this side of the foundation is pretty good and simple. Um, here we have another honey locust that we would need to treat. I'll get measurements in the one note shortly. Um, crab apple here. She is worried about it. Uh, I mean, they do drop kind of early. This one's still pretty green, so I don't know. You'll have to take a look at it. The arbs here look pretty good. Uh, these Albertas do not. They may be removing them. I do not know what's going on with this, but it does not look good at all. You can see there's nothing on it. Um, she just planted the Ruby Falls over here. So if we can be feeding that, that'd be great. And she just has some Clematis, another Viburnum. The Weeping Blue Spruces around the back and the left side of the house look like they're struggling a bit um we did talk about these honeysuckles they just aren't planted deep enough um they also have powdery mildew this one same thing not really planted very deep there's a clematis here white pine this one again you can see it's not very deep Although it's not showing signs of powdery mildew. We've got this little edge of shrubs here. This little guy, um, I do notice now it's a little girdled. Probably doesn't have a whole lot of life left. Um, this weeping blue is really, really bare at the bottom and on the side. removing this pine over here and then I'm setting up a job to treat the new little dogwood for anthracnose in the spring. <laughs> 